Sean out your thinking. This geezer ain't professional. May I suggest you interview some real professionals? I've got nothing else to say to you, Zoll. David Ollie here with Simon Gerrans. Now it's nearly midway through the Giro, uh, so w Wednesday tomorrow, one and a half weeks in. Have you had a haircut yet? No, no, I had a nice, I had a short haircut before I left, so uh, I didn't have to worry about it for three weeks. Because this is one of the few sporting events in the world where you have to have a haircut um, mid tour. And uh, so today, uh, magnificent stage, a Queen stage. Uh, is this more trepidation for you than the time trial, which is on Thursday? Uh, yeah, there's, uh, see, time trial is not a really important day for me because I'm not sort of aiming for a GC result or anything like that. So I'll, I'll just get through the time trial as easy as I can. Whereas today I've got a lot of, uh, uh, well, uh, a fair bit of responsibility to try and help uh, Carlos out as much as I can. Okay. All right. Well, good luck today, Simon. Thanks, Dave. Uh, Cameron, uh, I believe this is your first Grand Tour? Yeah, it's my first Grand Tour and very exciting times to be, be at my first Grand Tour at such a young age, but I'm um, really enjoying it so far and really looking forward to the rest of the tour. And the youngest guy in the race, I believe? Yeah, youngest in the, in the race, which is, I don't know if that's an achievement or so, it's a pretty scary thing, but uh, yeah, it's exciting to be doing it at such a young age and to be picked in such a strong team as Garmin Supstream is a, a real honour to be here and riding for them. Okay, and uh, today's stage, 248k. Yep. Have you ridden 248k before? No, I haven't actually. So today's uh, my longest stage that I've ever done and longest race that I've ever done. So I'll be trying to take it as easy as I can so I get through the day with uh, as good a legs as I can so I can help out my team for the rest of the tour. Couldn't you be going for the win? You know, like the youngest rider wins on the longest stage in his first tour. It would just be, it would look really good on your... Uh Resume. It would look really good, but uh, that's a bit harder, <laughs> a bit easier said than done. We've got a guy, Bradley Wiggins, who's got riding really well in the mountains at the moment, and we also have Tyler Farrar, who's sprinting really well. So those sort of guys we look after if the stage suits them, and uh, my job is to help them out as much as I can. Previously in Australia, what races have you done there? What stage racing have you done? In Australia, uh, I did Tour Down Under um, earlier this year this in year? January, which okay. was my first pro pro tour race um, ever. So to ride that in Australia was really good. And uh, I've done other races such as track racing and uh, other racing like Tour of Tasmania, blah blah blah, as a as a junior. But uh, I haven't raced too much in Australia. It's a lot. A lot of it's done in Europe. Of okay. Late. And uh, any aspirations? Are you, are you hoping to be selected for the Tour de France this year? Yeah. Uh, it's a bit early to be selected for the Tour de France, I think. Uh, You've got to be dreaming, uh, though. <laughs> oh, it'll be a great dream, but uh, I, look to, I look to that a bit further down in the future. So we've got such a strong strong team that it'll be so hard just to make the top, the top nine guys. And so that's a stepping stone that I'm looking to take uh, over the next few years. And hopefully in a couple of years' time, I'll be riding in the Tour de France in this time. Top Bike TV is brought to you by Triple Play Clothing for the best cycle wear. Develop faster, video craft for camera and video equipment. Brunetti for cakes and coffee, Bellow and Climb Up for all multimedia requirements and MTB skills for great mountain bike lessons. If you like our show, please join our mailing list through the website.